The Osceola County Sheriff is speaking right now about a different shooting. It is playing here behind me. We have a Channel 9 team at this news conference following that deadly shooting on Saturday. Deputies found the victim off of Bronco Drive in St. Cloud, and you can see that is east of Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway. Then the next day, investigators arrested this man for the shooting. This is when Joshua Miller appeared before a judge just about three hours ago. He is being held without bond this afternoon. Channel Lines Q McCray learned how deputies found him. Well, as it stands right now, investigators are still trying to figure out what led up to this shooting. They say both the victim and suspect knew each other. And right now, the suspect is behind bars. Joshua Miller is behind bars. This is a picture of his arrest. The 29-year-old was on the run since Saturday afternoon. Osceola County deputies pulled out all the stops to find him. From a chopper in the sky to dozens of deputies on the ground on Bronco Drive in St. Cloud. Whenever it's a scene that's involving something like this, um, someone who shoots someone, um, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's very serious. It was like a get together here and at one point or another, those two were talking outside and that's when it happened. By the time they arrived, Miller was gone. That was around 1 p.m. Saturday. We now know deputies arrested Miller at another home in St. Cloud last night. The victim in this case, Joseph Peck, he was shot, rushed to the hospital, and that's where he died. He was also 29 years old. In Kissimmee, Q McRae, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.